today I'm going to do um, Love and Hip Hop uh, Season 2 Reunion um, Part 1. It starts off with Mona introducing all the girls. So let me introduce, let me tell you who, what they look like or who I care. Rashida looked cute. I guess because she's pregnant, she looked at glow. Her makeup was on point. She looked at all point. Um, Arian, she looked, uh, Arian, yeah. She looked all right. Um, I don't too much care for dark makeup, but she looked it all right. Um, Kylie Red, she looked plain, but she all right. She didn't look bad, but she looked it plain. Um, Tracy, I liked her dress, but I didn't like her lipstick. Mm -mm, I didn't like her hair. I thought her dress was okay. Mom D looked it. They showed her, but mm -mm, I didn't like, mm -mm, I didn't like her. Shay, not cute. I don't know. She, her hair was, oh, I, I don't know why she be thinking she look on point, but she didn't. Her hair was ugly. Her dress was not made for her. I don't know. Erica, I didn't like the color. Um, her makeup is always on point. Erica just be looking just fierce. I don't know who her makeup artist is, but she be looking fierce by the face. But the dress, I didn't too much care for it because I didn't care about the color. Mimi. No, her. I thought her hair was okay. It wasn't glamorous or nothing, but her hair was okay. I didn't too much care for her dress. Jocelyn, I didn't like the hair. I didn't. I didn't like nothing about what Jocelyn had on. Um, Kay Michelle looked cute. I can't get rid of that. She looked really, really nice. Um. Anyway, moving on. Um. They she introduced the dudes, and everybody booed Kirk, which will we thought was gonna happen. Anyway, Mona asked Mimi about um, her boob job, and I don't even remember what she said, but when she asked Jocelyn <laughs> what she thought, Jocelyn went in. Jocelyn was talking about they, that she wanted to be her, they were talking that she wanted to be her, and then her and Mimi started going back and forth, and Mimi was talking about how she was a... Um, she was like, I don't want to be like you, you prostitute. And then she called her a slut monkey. And then Jocelyn was like, um, I'm a slut monkey that took your, you just met because I'm a slut monkey that took your man. And I was just like, really? And Stevie over there trying to calm him down. But I'm just sitting there like, yeah, Jocelyn got you there. I did can't say that. Jocelyn got her there. Where she was like, yeah, you're mad because I took your man. I was a sideline hoe, but now I'm the main hoe. I mean, it might be some more sidelines hoe, but for right now, Jocelyn is the main hoe. Um, they, they, but did you hear when they was arguing? Mimi kept on saying, when they jumped at each other, Mimi was like, I beat your ass again. When did she beat her ass the first time? I missed that part. I didn't see that part. That's the shit they should have showed. And, um, Jocelyn was calling her a throwback. And I was just like, these bitches is retarded. Then Jocelyn threw a shoe at, tried to throw a shoe at her. I was just like, they need to let these bitches square up. I think they beef is not going to be uh, over until one of them hit each other. And they, somebody just let them fight. I'm just saying. I don't think grown-ass women should be out there scrapping. But I just think sometimes. Shit ain't gonna be resolved if they gonna still be in each other's life. Shit ain't gonna be resolved unless um somebody get their hands put on them and know like look bitch you gonna get beat up every time if you say something so just leave it alone. I'm just saying I don't know who will win cause I don't know I just no I think Jocelyn will give it to her. I don't know I just really think Jocelyn will give it to Mimi. Anyway moving on. From them, um, she talked about the beef with uh, all the girls, with K. Michelle and all the damn girls. She talked about how Mary Arian and her kissed and all that kind of stuff. Rashida, her and Rashida, they say they, you know, they could be cordial now. Um, K. Michelle, um, and Carly, she feel like uh, they didn't play a record in the club. They talked about it. They cool. Um, who else did K. Michelle have a beef with? You know that she said K. Michelle versus everybody. So, who else? K. Michelle cool with everybody, so it don't even matter. But she did ask Mimi how she felt, um, how was they relationship now, and she was like, ask her. Mimi has such a fucking attitude, and she's always on defense. I don't know why she was on here, because even on season one, 
um, reunion, she was on defense. My thing is, bitch, you shouldn't have played it out like this if you knew everybody was going to come for you. You shouldn't be on this show. I'm quite sure when Mona hired y'all on season one, she told you stupid bitches that, look, everybody's going to criticize what you did, regardless of the editing. So, bitch, something you have to deal with. But that bitch Mimi just had a chip on her shoulders, and I was just like, why are you here? Why are you here? Like I said, I think she bitter because she, she mad that Jocelyn is the main bitch. And I think that's the character she thought she was going to be. I'm just saying. I, I, do, I do. I think she felt like that she was going to be the main bitch. And then Mona swooped in with Jocelyn. And then Jocelyn became the star. And so she's still bitter about that. Even though she played like she don't want Stevie. I'm quite sure she thought she was going to be the star of the show. Um... Anyway, Jocelyn, they asked Jocelyn about uh, her and Carly, and she was like, I don't fuck with that old bitch. I fell out laughing. I was just like, Jocelyn don't care. And Jocelyn was like, I don't care. I, I'm tired. I'm tired of being nice. If they give me attitude, I'm going to give it attitude back. Jocelyn is, she just turned me around this season with her because I just be like, she just say what she feels. She don't give a damn. She is not, no filter. I just like Jocelyn. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, Stevie, excuse me, Stevie, Jocelyn, and Mimi. When they had their little talk, I was just like, Mimi, get a clue. Just she's so bitter. She's so bitter. She, but they brought up um, Mimi not speaking to Jocelyn when she comes brings the daughter over and I was just like she don't have to y'all not married yet when you get the ring on your finger then I can see you guys building that relationship till then to her you still cause she's been in a relationship with Stevie for a long time so to her you just a sideline bitch that anytime now you could be the next it could be the next one in the house so I understand what she's saying about she don't have to speak to you and get in a relationship with you as of yet. She did say she don't have a problem with Jocelyn, but I'm like, yeah, you do. Both of y'all have a problem with each other and y'all need to solve that shit. Um, after that, Mama D, Scrappy, Erica, and her mama, they sitting on there. Mama D and uh, Erica mama didn't really say nothing, but they came to the conclusion. Erica's just like, I'm tired of this on and off again. We just need to be able to co-parent. Yada, yada, yada. So, I was just like, yeah. I don't think they need to be in a relationship. Um. Oh, when they was doing that beef shit. Sorry. I'm so sorry. When they was doing that beef shit. Let me talk about this. That damn Shay. Why? Shay was on defense just like Mimi. And they brought up Tracy being in the middle or whatever. And Tracy was like, that wasn't my intention. I just felt like they need to talk. So then Shay said something. And Erica, Erica don't like her. So Erica was out of line for saying something to her. But she was like ignorance or something. And she was like, yeah, you're ignorant. So then they started going back and forth. And then she was talking about jump off. And she was talking about if I'm going to jump off, I, if I'm going to pop off, I'll jump off. She told her to jump. Erica didn't budge. But I'm just saying, like... She talking about get your weight up, you a Cass B. And I'm just sitting there like, both of you bitches are sideline bitches. Because Scrappy is still fucking with somebody else. I don't know who, but he fucking with somebody else. So stop, stop it, Erica. Calm your ass down. Stop being on the defense and just be a mama to your baby. That's it. Just like you said, y'all just need to be parents. So what, what Shay throwing at you, bitch, you should brush that shit off your shoulders. But you always let her get it at you. And Shay was right. You should be mad at your baby daddy. He lied to both of y'all. Just saying. Even though it is season two, yes, yeah, Shay was dumb for still fucking with him. But so was you, Erica. Come on now, because you saw season one just like she did. And both of y'all were still fucking with him. Anyway. um, But yeah, just be co-parents. Tracy and her baby daddy, baby Drew. She is dumb. I hope she's not coming back next season. She is so fucking dumb. She was talking about she is allowed to pop off at bitches because she has a $25,000 check. Bitch, so what is you doing? Buying him now? Like, come on now. No. You have no right to fucking go off on him um, just because you got a check in your hand. Like he said, 
you don't just show up at nobody's house. And she did. Then she was talking about she didn't use old boy. Everything Drew was saying was true about Tracy. And she was getting so fucking mad and defensive. And I'm like, yeah, you still like him. He still like you. Probably next season, you're going to try to work it where you guys are working shit out so you can be on there next season. But, bitch, don't nobody want to see you. I'm just saying. Um, Yeah, I, I wasn't feeling. I, I'm not feeling Tracy because she's childish as fuck. She's really childish. She needs to worry about just being a mother and not worrying about who he's sleeping with. Then they had some little hashtag battle and popcorn holes won. And I'm sitting there like... Who voted for that shit? Some ratchet bitches? Because I'm sitting there like, why would that be the hashtag? I'm just saying, like, I'd rather in that order to be, and I don't even like Mama D, and I'd rather for that to have been the hashtag battle win. Because, hey, maid, nope, ain't calling nobody a maid, and popcorn house, I don't deal with them. So, I don't know. I think just ratchets probably voted for this shit. I don't know. Um... Then they ended off with showing what happened between Rashida and Kirk. They didn't, they wasn't able to talk, but they showed what happened. And then she goes off and say, oh, we'll return next week. So next week look like it's going to be good. So that's when I think everything's better to jump off. It better just be two parts. Because if they go into three parts, I'm going to really be pissed off at Mona for going to three parts when it don't need to be. This second part only need to be like 30 minutes. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say with about the love and hip hop season two reunion part one. I'll be back next week to do it. Um, make sure you guys check out Scotty from Mr. Still Standing. Um, check out Mike B 801. Check out Ashley Miller 1987. B Bondi, Forest Rocks, um, Sweet Addictions. I love her so. Shout um, out to all them YouTubers and make sure you guys watch them, comment on their channels, subscribe to their channels. Make sure you follow me, rate me, share me, all that good stuff. Um, I go by the ghetto view on everything that I do. T H A, not T H E, except my Instagram is Miss Nika M I Z Z N E K A 69. Sorry, this is late, but I just got back from California and it's like 2 30 in the morning, so I just want to hurry up and give you guys a video because I didn't want it to be too late. So, um, yeah, talk to me and I'll talk back. All right, peace.